A very good morning to everyone. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Pang Chongxian. You can call me CX. I'm graduated in software engineering from University Tunggu Adhuraman, Utah. So first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Winnie, my advisor, and Utah University Center, and of course, Alibaba GTT programs for giving me this opportunity to share my entrepreneurial experience with all of you here. Okay. So back to 2019, I took part in Alibaba Global E-Commerce Talents, GET. I believe it's now called Global Digital Talents, GDT. And it was an eyes opener to me. This program enabled me to be equipped with the skill sets required and understand how the ecosystem works in current markets. Most importantly, it gave me an opportunity to start up my first business. So my first company is called Crinchworthy, a company that's selling household supplies and pest control products. At first, my friends, my friends actually doubted me and asked, why am I choosing this product category? The profit margin is so low and the worst thing is a lot of people selling similar products. That means that the market is already saturated. So there were other options with high profit margins like selling furniture, resale branded products, skincare, and more. The answer for me is always the same, the demand and the repurchase value. I believe everyone here at least has one household or pest control product in your house and some of them is using it every day. Eventually, these products are the market demands. So what will they do if they finish the products? So they will buy again the products and this creates repurchase value. So before we start selling the products, we actually face quite a number of challenges since we have zero experience in editing photos, content writing, literally everything. So it's very important to have a mindset of willing to learn and step out from the comfort zone. So the first challenge is the product presentations. We cannot just simply grab the product image from online and upload the unclear and blur product image. We need at least to edit it and make sure it's clear and bright enough to catch customer eyes. So the next thing is the price settings. The problem with this actually, there were many companies selling the same products. Even the supplier themselves, they're actually selling the products on the same platform as us. So the average selling price is very, very, very low. So this is one of the examples. Let's assume that the supplier price is 15 ringgit Malaysia and the selling price is 16.5 ringgit Malaysia. So the profit margin for selling one item is actually only 1.5 ringgit Malaysia. You still have to pay for the charges and the shipping fees. So result in less room to play with the profit margins, especially when you want to submit a promotion price to the campaigns. So our strategy for this is actually creating a bundle. With these bundles, our profit margin increased to three ringgit Malaysia. So it provides us more room to play with and we can have a, bet, a very competitive pricing models. So last but not least, our product list does not have any ratings at first, although we sold quite a lot of numbers of items, but we don't receive any ratings. So it happens to us quite often. We managed to overcome this by sending free gift to them. So if the customer is happy with the purchase and also the buying experience, there's a very big chances that they will leave a good rating to your products. Some of the customer even, even ask for free gift. So we actually trade a free gift for ratings. Yeah, so basically we done everything by ourselves and we implement what we learned from these programs. And this is our result. So in the first business month, we actually made 771.3 ringgit Malaysia. I'm actually satisfied with this amount as it symbolizes a great start. So in the years of 2020, we actually created 29,376.64 ringgit Malaysia. So when we reach these figures, we thought it would be hard for us to make more than this amount. But surprisingly, we reached to a new high in 2021 that we actually created 129,876.8 ringgit Malaysia. And lastly, in the year of 2022, we successfully made 135,000 919.16 ringgit Malaysia. 
So these are just the amount we made from Lazada. We actually also selling on Shopee as well. And it's not the end of my entrepreneurship journey yet. I actually took part in another two entrepreneur projects with different amazing entrepreneurs. This project is called Fashionpreneurs, which is the combinations of words, fashions and entrepreneurs. What we're trying to achieve for this project is to create a platform for fashion enthusiasts. The main goal to create a, the main goal is to create a communities and, and ecosystems for students who have passions in fashions. We provide a platform which encompasses t-shirt supplies, printing services, consultations, commercializations through e-store, and also showcase of design through a fashion show. We have our first fashion show, fashion ramen shows on 8th April 2019. The theme of the event is Merdeka Memories to commemorate the Malayan declarations of independence. We actually successfully onboarded five fashion printers from different universities, such as Indy University, University of Nottingham, Saito University College, and more. So there were 30 audiences attend to these events. And here comes the next fashion runway shows on 15th December, 2019 to celebrate the Christmas. So the theme of the event is White Christmas. We managed to onboard 13 fashion premiers and a total of 16 audiences. We also invited some of the professionals modeling agency to give professionals advice to the fashion premiers and teach all the models on how to pose and cable on the spot. Unfortunately, this project has been discontinued due to the pandemic strikes and we can't mix to the next move. So for me, this is the most memorable project as in I experienced my teammate actually leaving us and leaving the projects and first time creating an event and first time working closely with the stakeholders. Mm. Last but not least, the next project is called Automate. It is a social media business enabler. Back to 2021, the live commerce was so popular that most of the businesses added a new sales channels, which is selling their products through live in Facebook. And we found out that there was a loophole we kept churning the orders to most of the businesses. They're actually still using pens and paper to record down the sales one by one, scoring two orders, commands. So this is the problems we were trying to solve. So Automate is a web application that helps businesses keep track of their online sales by automating the ordering and sales process on social media platforms. We were invited by Utah University Center to participate in this business idea pitching competitions. So at first, we never thought of winning these competitions. What we want was actually to gain experience from these competitions and surround ourselves with, with others, entrepreneurs, and learn from them. So this is when it's hosted by Asia School of Business with more than 15 universities across the Asia. It was very exciting that we to be shortlisted round to round and got into the finals. We never knew we would win this competition, but in the end we did. So but as an entrepreneur, it's very important to always motivate yourself because unlikely to have someone motivates you. And some people might pour a cold water on you, it's fine. So always keep in mind that do the best work and keep the patience. Yeah, that's all from me. Thank you.